All right, good evening, everyone. As we take a look at current conditions, temperatures are not too bad after a high in those low 50s. We're only in the low 40s right now, and temperatures actually rising a little bit as we headed to the overnight, thanks in part to some cloud cover. Winds are now south southwesterly at 10 miles per hour. South winds promise to warm things up a pinch. It's warmed up all the way to 50 in Devil's Lake 48 Jamestown this hour. We have some cooler conditions off to the east where we have 39 Roseau, 38 in Bemidji and 37 in Fergus Falls. A few clouds in the radar showing some sprinkles, not all of which are reaching the ground. In fact, very few of these are making their way down to the ground at this particular point, but you may see a sprinkle in our easternmost counties as we go through the next hour or so. The big system is going to get some energy up from this big wave making its way over the Rockies now, and that's going to cause a hiccup in the atmosphere and we like to call those Alberta Clippers, and that's going to be making its way through. Here's how your night is shaping up. Spotty showers off to the east will quickly move off to the east. It looks like we'll stay cloudy, and by the morning hours, temperatures will be very close to what they are right now. A lot of us starting our day in the 40s. Overnight, don't be surprised if you hear gusts of wind once again, and in the morning hours will be the windiest part of our Wednesday as we get started. Now, as we go through mid-morning, winds westerly, maybe southwesterly in our far western counties. Now, the warm front located right here where we see the clouds, so temperatures on the left side of the map here will be warmer than where we have clouds and showers through the midday hours and into the early afternoon. But a decent shot at 60, uh, maybe even a 60 plus in some of our southeast North Dakota counties as we go through the afternoon. And again, the winds fairly light. So Wednesday, not so terrible. As we head into the late night hours, things stay the same. Your hour by hour forecast for Fargo looks like this 42 first thing in the morning. Wind will be a little breezy with some gusts over 20 miles per hour. But as we go through midday, that wind subsides, becomes a little more southwesterly and a little bubble of warmth works its way over the valley and we'll enjoy 60 degrees. Enjoy it while you can. Here's some other temperatures. Best chance at 60, Red River Valley to the south and west. As we look off into the Devil's Lake Basin, temperatures there will be in the 50s, and it will be significantly cooler for our far northeast counties from Roseau through the Beltrami County areas with temperatures in the 40s through the afternoon with spotty sprinkles here and there. Here is an update on what we're expecting with our storm, and I want to point out the timeline and the strength and timing of the storm could change a little bit, and the track could change. Uh, we're dealing with a warm ground right now, but as we go through the day on Thursday, the snow will develop up north first with some spotty showers south. As the system moves south and east, the chance of snow moves south and east. So here in the midday hours, our model's calling for some snowflakes in and around Grand Forks, and by the mid-afternoon hours, that could reach the FM area. Gusty winds will already be taking place with the isobars this close together, over 40 miles per hour in places. Then as we go late into the night, the wind gets very heavy, but the heaviest band of snow shifts off to the east as well. We could start out our morning with a little bit of leftover snow in the south and east. The accumulation should be done. The wind should be decreasing from west to east as well as things quiet down for our Friday night. Snowfall potential with this system, pretty wide ranging. We could see absolutely nothing in our far southwestern counties, but there is a decent shot of a wide area of one to two inches of snow from the Red River Valley. As we get into central Minnesota, we could see some spots with two to six inches of snow. Six would be a little more isolated. The planning forecast, there's a beautiful fall shot as we're looking at what Cassandra Peterson sent in from Valley City. Saturday uh, does look a lot quieter as we close out a stormy Thursday and Friday, you guys. And then as we look forward to next week, well, very cool conditions for trick-or-treaters. Both Monday and Tuesday could bring a little precipitation as well. So possibly shorts tomorrow and then 24 hours later. Boots. A little weather whiplash. <laughs> yes. Thanks, Ed. You bet.